Coach Jan here at All American Gymnastics. I thought I'd bring you a little virtual stretching for our older gymnasts out there, probably age seven and up. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna have you do 25 jumping jacks. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Great job, hands on your hips, toe rises. 10 toe rises would be good, up and down. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good job, feet apart. Let's put our hands up. We're gonna bend all the way forward. Try to get your hands as flat as you can to the ground. Lift one arm up and down, other arm up and down. Let's reach to one side. Try to get your nose as close as you can to your knee. Walk on over to the other side. Should feel a good stretch there. All right, let's all sit down. Let's go to our butterflies. Remember, stretching every day will keep our bodies in shape, keep us flexible. So when we finally do get back in the gym, we'll be ready to go. If you can, push your knees down as far as you can. Good job. We're gonna go to our straddles, make a nice big straddle. Hands up, we're gonna take one arm, wrap it around our body, and reach over our head. Good, and let's reverse that. Wrap and reach. Good, and hands up. Next, what we wanna do is to do our pancake. A pancake is flat to the ground. If you can't do a pancake, the first step is just to try to get your hands flat. Remember, we want our knees straight. We don't want our knees up. Let's lock out our knees, so hands flat. If that's easy, go to your elbows. If you can get your elbows down, then we try to go flat or flat. Okay, each day, if you do this each day, it will get better and you'll have a nice big pancake. Good job. Pull our feet together in a pike. Hands up, we're gonna reach, trying to get your fingers past your toes. Once again, we want our knees to stay straight. We don't want our knees to buckle. Make sure you're locking out your legs. You'll get a better stretch. Next, we're gonna flex our toes, grab those toes and pull them up, trying to pull your heels off the ground. Great job. Grab a foot, always good to warm up those ankles. We did that in the beginning a little bit with our toe rises and jumping jacks. Other foot. Good job, shaking out those wrists. Good job. All right, next what we're gonna do is our bridges. So bridges take a lot of work. I used to have a good bridge back when I was younger. I'll give a bridge a shot here today. So what we're trying to do is lay on our back and push up, up into your bridge as high as you can. Try to walk your feet together if you can. Hold it and come down. Then what you can do is you can rock out your back and try again. You can try this two or three more turns. Okay, if you're in a wide open space, Okay, and it's safe, you might have a mat at home, you can try to do bridge kick over. Okay, all right, with that being said, we're gonna move on to our splits. So we're gonna do our splits. Once again, every day you do this, your split's gonna get better. I'm gonna start with my left leg, you start with either leg that you want. We're gonna push our knee forward. Make sure your knee isn't going over your toes. Hands on your knee, and just pressing forward. You're gonna feel the stretch in your back leg. I'm gonna hold that for a little bit. Good job, then we're gonna press back. Try to get your nose to your knee, front leg straight. And slide into your split. Okay, try to keep that back knee under, holding your split the best you can. It's a good idea to hold your split for about 30 seconds. Looking good, everybody. I know sometimes this is the hardest part of our gymnastics workout is our splits and conditioning. All right, come on out. 
We're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Knee in front, pressing forward. It's also a great activity you can do with your brothers and sisters at home. You can even get your parents to try a little bit, okay? They, everyone has to do it at their own pace, okay? And at their own level. Make sure that that knee isn't over your toes and you're pressing, you'll feel that stretch in that back leg. Good job, then you're gonna push back. Try to get your nose to your knee. And then you're gonna slide down as far as you can go. Wherever you can go is where you're gonna hold that split. Once again, try to hold it for about 30 seconds. Great job. All right, the next one is our straddle split. This could be done a number of ways. Okay, you can do it where you just have your knees apart and you're trying, you can go on your elbows and you're doing a stretch this way. Okay, that's a great stretch. You could also go up on your feet and try to slide out as far as you can go. Once you get to the point where you can't go no more, just go to your elbows and hold it for as long as you can. And when you've had enough, come on out. I know our straddle splits are hard. So that's great work right there. Very good, everybody. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in our squat. Okay, and you're gonna lift up as high as you can. Stretch out the backs of those legs and come back down and up one more time. And back down to great, we call that the elevator stretch. Great step, great stretch to do. All right, and then we can move on to some of our jumps. We like to get our jumps done in the beginning of our workout, get our legs moving. Okay, so if you have a spot where you can do it and you're not gonna hit anything, that would be great. Okay, the first thing we'll do is like five tuck jumps. Remember your tuck jump, your knees are coming up. Okay, so if you could do five of those right now for me, that would be great. Remember, knees are up. Great job. Our next jump will be our straddle jump. When you do that straddle jump, you're trying to pull the legs apart as fast as you can. Okay, one more time for me. Good, three more times for you. Great job. So we've done our tuck jump, our straddle jump. Our next jump is our pike jump. A little bit harder jump. We're trying to jump, trying to touch our toes. So you jump, and we try to touch our toes. Our legs are straight. That's our pike jump. Okay, once again, try to do five of those. Our next jump is our wolf jump. The wolf jump is when we bend one leg. So we jump. And we wolf. We jump and wolf. Okay, a lot of kids like that one. It's a good jump. We can do those on the balance beam, on the floor exercise. Great jump to do. Next jump, our jump full turn. Arms reach to the ceiling. Okay, you can even try going the other way. Reach to the ceiling. Jump full turns. Okay, another one I like to do with my classes just for fun is our cat leap. A cat leap is called, is a jump that we do that we call bend bend every now and then. So our knees come up, bend bend, bend bend. That's our cat leap. Lastly, we'll do our hitch kick. Kick, 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 kick. Great job. Hey, the more stretching you do every day, the more it'll be easier to come back when we're ready to be done. Okay, so thank you for everything you do. Thank you for being part of the All-American family, and we'll talk to you soon.